All right, guys, so we're here at the event where my Corvette just got delivered, and we run into this beautiful C5. Um, this car, modifications that it has done to it, is exactly, if, if I could write down on a piece of paper my dream build uh, for my car, this would be it. This would be my dream build right here. This C5 Corvette. We're gonna go over this car right after you watch this beauty montage and hear this thing run in three, two, one. Here we are guys back with the 99 C5 Corvette and this car looks so unassuming so unassuming but let's run down the build to you guys uh, starting out with the engine it's a fully built LSA block uh, with pistons forged piston rod and in addition to that it's sleeved so the block is made for big power in addition to that the stock LSA heads uh, stock LS3 intake manifold, LS3 throttle body. But what is this chrome pipe going to it? Now, if you notice something funny about that chrome pipe, that chrome pipe has a huge blow off valve on it and it says Turbo Smart on it. Well, that's right, you guys are super smart. This thing is a twin turbo, uh, it's a twin turbo 62 62 precision turbos. And they are attached right down in there. So they are attached on each side of the block. Uh, it's the Huron Speed twin turbo kit. And this car has dual meth injection. Uh, it is a 4, 4L60 car, but it is fully built to handle over 1,000 horsepower. Um, something if you probably spotted it already, Holly EFI, that's right. The fuel system is ran on Holly EFI. It is, uh, the fuel basket is the same. However, the Holly adds an additional fuel pump in front of this wheel right here. And it feeds into the fuel system right here. And that fuels the Holly 120 pound injectors. So it is a full setup. Now, how do you run all of that, right? On a Holly, how's that possible? Well, cosmetically, as you guys can see, has the L5 fenders. Just a really nice car overall. And this roll bar setup is integrated so nicely, right? That's really nice, really clean. But let's check it out, guys. Yeah, it's been a while since I had to get in and out of my C5. All right, so let's check it out. This right here is his Holly EFI. It is nuts the way it works. It's all integrated in here. His whole Holly system is integrated in here. Um, it has different boost settings that he can turn on and turn off with the touch of a screen. Totally amazing. And in addition to that, the car, although it is a 4L60, it has a removable trans brake. Removable trans brake and the bump box is tied into his cruise control and that's how he bumps into the light. In addition to that, the car has line lock, which is this right here, and oil and fans, additional fans come on here. So just all in all, a crazy setup. But let's start it up.
Man, this thing sounds stock, to be honest with you. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a rev. Still sounds stock. That's the thing about turbos, man. They really quiet the car down and they keep it tame. And it opens up once you open up those waste gates. So let's go for a quick drive. All right, so we're gonna take it nice and easy. This car is still being tuned. It is a fresh build, this car. So we're gonna take it nice and easy. We're gonna take it out for a quick spin. And uh, what's special about this car is, this is my dream build. This is my dream build by far. Man, I can't believe how tame this thing is. It is so tame. Like you would never assume that this car has all this work done to it. He is going to be really gapping season. He's really gonna be hurting feelings. Available on modtofame.com. But uh, we're gonna head out just here right now. As you guys can see, we're at the track. So a bunch of cool cars and all that good stuff. But anyway, drop a gear. Oh yeah, you start to hit the turbos come in a little bit. Just a little bit, nothing crazy. Just a little, you hit the turbos start to come in. Man, this thing drives so smooth. Woo! -hoo -hoo. You hear that blow off? Oh man, I'm in love. I'm already in love. I didn't even go nowhere. Woo! It's so quiet though. Mine will have to be a little louder than this. <laughs> I know that's rice and stuff, but it is what it is, guys. What stall he has it's it's tuned in it's dialed in very well his stall wow you can like hear it slipping and then it grabs so that's it slipping now it grabs Woo! good god Woo! oh my god this thing is going to be fast this car is gonna be fast bro oh this car is going to be fast Oh my God, I can't really lay into it heavy because like I said, guys, it's not tuned yet. So I don't want to really want to lay into it crazy, but this thing is fast. Right now it's on wastegate. Uh, wastegate, he said it has nine pound springs in it. So basically it should make nine, 10 pounds somewhere around there. But I can tell man, because of the, the, the small turbos, the 62, 62s, spools fast as hell. And I'm on like some little curves and turns. Oh my God, I love it. Woo! I can listen to the blow up valve all freaking day. All freaking day I can listen to that blow off. Um, right now the car has a uh, regular pump gas in it. 93 pump gas. So that's absolutely amazing that you could drive around on pump gas in your drop top Corvette that is capable of over 1,000 wheel horsepower. One more. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh man, this is gonna mess it up for me. Cause my car, my C5 is NA. And even once we tune it and everything, Oh my God, it's gonna feel dog slow compared to this. I can tell this car is going to be fast as Oh my gosh. The way, it's, the way it starts rolling in. Oh my God, it is so clean the way it starts rolling in. I need this. I need this in my life. Wow. So guys, long story short, man, this is where I hope to get one day. Um, I don't know what form of boost I wanna run. 
turbo versus supercharger. As a matter of fact, drop in the comments right now for a Corvette. Which one would you do? Turbo or supercharger? But this right here, what in every way, shape, or form, is a dream for me. Let's see if I can make it come true.